I'm starting off with a white piece of cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four. And I'm using the Diamond Scallop Punch by Cake Success to punch the bottom edge of the card layer. And I didn't punch it just right there, so I have to trim just a tiny bit off, but that's fine. It looks looks fine, you can't even tell. Now I'm taking my antique linen distress ink and going over the edges uh, very thoroughly. I'm just really caking it on. And once it dries, it'll blend very nicely together. I'm using the scallop side of the scallop cloud punch by We Are Memory Keepers on the top two corners. And then I'll continue to ink with my ink blending tool. Now I'm using the Family Stamp Set by Stampology. I bought this at scrapbook.com. Uh, I think I only paid like $2 for it, so it was a really good deal. And now I'm using this Tree Border Stamp with Peeled Paint Distress Ink. I'm going to stamp a border along the bottom of the card layer. Now I'm using Faded Jeans Distress Ink to stamp the man. And I also pulled out Tattered Rose to stamp the woman and the girl. Oop, I have to restamp that one. It didn't stamp 100%. That's the good thing about clear stamps. You can restamp them if you need to, if you didn't get the right impression. And here I'm stamping the woman. And it looks as if they're all holding hands. Now I'm picking out a sentiment and that big tree. I'm going to stamp that in peeled paint as well. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment and I'm going to use archival Ink in Black by Ranger. It says families grow together. Now I'll just move that stuff out of the way and I grab my card base and I'm using the Zyra Mega Runner to add adhesive to my card layer and I'll put it right onto the card base. The card base measures five and a half by four and a quarter. Now I'm going to use the half inch side of this corner rounder to round the top two corners and later you'll see in the picture that I rounded the bottom two as well. 